I feel like it's real. And you said that when your hoop boys come to your party, you you know you're good for the night. He knows he's locked off for the night already because he's going to hit his targets. I don't know if you want to like talk about that. <laughs> Shout out to all my young boys. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> who are we now who are we here? i'm very happy today i i heard good n- n- things about you yes man. like a lot of crazy stuff so please introduce yourself okay hi <laughs> 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 is that what you did the girls okay hi. <laughs> um i mean i'm godfrey godfrey okora for um i'm a tech bro but also into entertainment but i mean the entertainment side is is on hibernate for now because like life is just being life and I'm just stressed to be honest like going out <laughs> don't look stressed actually, out, he tells like, me this yeah. every month by the way but I just, I just I'm <laughs> just, look no, I don't, every single month he tells me I mean I, being stress is relative <laughs> true you'll see so. let me just say something before we start this podcast <laughs> <laughs> he tells me this <laughs> he tells me this every month then I'll be on Instagram I see him on the boat the next week <laughs> That's Lagos life. We take out the stress to the streets. Every single time it's hibernating, it's no, always on t- one boat trust afterwards. Me, Lagos can be stressful in different ways. Like, it might not be the way you think um, the stress will come, but it could just come. It could be from, I could get stressed from reaching out to a lot of people mm. or getting messages from a lot of people or getting seen by a lot of people because literally my DMs is choked. Mm. Not, not even, I'm not talking based on <laughs> The kind of things I do is just, I have friends that just expect that because I go out almost every weekend. Yes. You know what's popping. I know what's popping. Mm. Yeah. And then there are some that get so emotional about it. Mm-hmm. And when you don't reply, it feels like, oh, you are not there for them at that moment. Mm. It's just stressful. Yeah. Do you understand? Like, I hear that. Because I, I, that's actually how I um, change my behavior. Because it was one weekend, I had about three different guys say, come to Zoya, come to this place, come to this place. I just said, you know what, yeah, I'm done. Controller. So for the last four months, I've not even been out clubbing because I'm like, it's it's a, it's a bit much. It's, it's and it's the same actually. thing over and over again when you deep it, just a different environment and different friendship group. So, so it, it gets why, a why are you known for the club? This is the plug of all plugs, by the, the way. I need, I need to introduce, you need to introduce yourself, but I, this is Godfrey and he's the plug of all plugs that's so the name a, I have for him the, from, for me I, I would say he's a problem solver <laughs> yes problem I like that, that he's, like he's definitely a problem solver shout out to Godfrey no, is, problem is. Is. <laughs> so problems is just God that can handle it <laughs> trust me um I don't know why she calls me the plug of all plugs. You do know. <laughs> but I love that she calls me that. It yeah. means that she values me a lot. So much. And yeah, like I just really just know a lot of people. I think, okay, so I'm this very free-spirited person where I enjoy I enjoy meeting people. Mm. Sometimes it's stress, but I just want to do it just because I love it. And because of that, I've met a lot of people, both relevant and irrelevant, mm. along my lifetime. And you just realize that when you sit down to think about, oh, or when a request comes in, I need this. By the time you screw through one, two, three, you found, oh, this person does this thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. Hi, what's it? I need this. And before, and even they, they don't do it, they could refer you to someone else. That does, yeah. So that way, like, it's just been going and people just call me that but i don't see myself as that but i'm i mean i'm happy people think I am. should we do a story time because obviously yeah, i ahead. have me and him this is literally like one of my bestest friends in lagos so literally i'm gonna do one story time just one because we have like 200 <laughs> <laughs> so basically a couple of girls some of my girls were here from london mm-hmm. and they wanted to have a party in mm-hmm. aqua atlantic whatever and so shut down. We were gonna do it, organize it. And I said to Godfrey, okay, my babes are around, we're gonna do a party. This guy, when I say the plug of all plugs, he almost got like 200 people came down to Echo Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> 
I wasn't no, okay, let me let me not rush the story. <laughs> First of all, ladies, yeah, he sent me like the picture of like 50 man. <laughs> Nah, I, I rate that. I rate that. No, no, no. Nah, no, I don't even understand. If I'm going to a party, please tell me who's coming because I'm not trying I don't to pop in and like Look, see yeah, people that I don't really I don't mess gas, with. You know I don't even gas anybody, but this one. So like, yeah, he sent me the pictures already, and I was like, okay, cool. You know what? I'm gonna see some. You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So then the night comes and yeah, it was shut down to the point that Echo Atlantic said, you, you, you must get out of here. <laughs> Yo, like, you got messed up the memory. I was surprised <laughs> that he did that because I felt responsible for a lot of people. He did. Mm-hmm. I felt, yeah, he did. It was That's stressful for me. It was, At yeah. that point because they could only let, I think they said 12 or 6 <laughs> into <laughs> the apartment and then I had like it was bad. 20 people downstairs. It was more than 20, I swear more, to you. I, I it was know, actually up to, to it, wow. it was actually almost up so to So like a lot of people lot. were texting me. Like I was really stressed that that was one of my most stressful days. Yeah. A lot of people were texting me, oh, they said we can't come up. In my head, I'm like, relax now. Like yeah, we're sorting it like, out. Like I'm sorting it yeah. out. Like and I won't bring did, you to a place he, to not yeah. have fun. Funny, really. yeah. I'm and he did man. just that. The, I couldn't believe it. I'm telling you, it was almost like a, it was way over 100 people. And we got a new venue in VI, and they all followed. And they came to the event. <laughs> and we guys, were there playing games. Carrying everybody Legos. Literally. <laughs> and we were there playing games and having a lit night to almost like 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning. It was, trust me, like, that's just one of like many stories. But the, the skill set and the things I want to ask you today is you are a people person and you know how to keep bonds with people. And that's something, I don't know if it's natural or if it's something you learned, but I want to understand a bit more about how you cultivated that skill. Um, so I think it's a bit of natural and um, understanding the people you've interacted with over time. Mm. So, um, okay. Um, while I was younger, from high school, I've always attended more than one schools. So my high, my primary school, I went to two primary schools. My high school, I went to three high schools. My uni, okay, that is the only uni I actually stayed in one. But I almost <laughs> did two. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? So, I mean, you realize that someone hopping, 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 and meeting different people, and meeting different characters, and it's making it easy. And I remember this one time when I was in uni because I really just wanted to be that guy mm. that everyone would look at. Oh, ah, Godfrey, I wanted to be that guy. So I walked a bit. I read books too, especially about communication. Mm. And meeting people is not hard. Interacting with people is not hard. You just need to relax. And look at who you're talking to. Like, you just need to sometimes feed their ego. Mm. People, <laughs> especially... He's very es- good at that. Especially people in Nigeria, mm. yeah. or Lagos, just feed their ego and then you have them. Mm. Like, just do it one, two times. They won't even know when they're doing stuff for you. Mm. Because then they're always happy that happy. you're around. You know, when... You know, the persons and what, what they call this guy that does um, this in, in Yoruba land that does for the king. Um, <laughs> um, is it, it's not town crier. What, what they call oh, the I jester. Know. I don't know. I don't know that. The hype man. Like yeah. hype man. Something yeah. like a hype man. Mm. I see, trust me, like, just feed it. A mm. lot of people, in, people are proud in this place. They, mm. they will tell you they are humble, but they are very proud. Mm. Mm. Just so would up. you would you advise to be humble when when in an area full of proud people or to be proud in an area full of hmm. I mean it depends on what you want. Sure. If you look at it depends it's really if you are trying to get something out of these people, I always take the approach of being humble. Hmm. But if you look around and you feel you don't need anything, I'm not good, I'm not proud. Some people say I'm proud, but I don't think I am. I don't think you are. No. A lot of people say I'm proud, like a lot say I'm proud. Although one thing I've noticed, I think you're de- very different with your male friends and your female friends though. So yeah, maybe the males will say something different. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to the males that are saying something different. Fuck them niggas. Yeah, it's literally, right? You definitely <laughs> fuck yeah, some of them. There's about bros over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, yeah. no, I'm not actually bros over bros. <laughs> 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 So wait, wait what, what would what would your male friend say about you? What would your female say about you? Or oh, you don't have any friends? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. About <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to be honest, my female friends are lovely, 
I thank God for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can summarize because obviously Zion, Zion, <laughs> I've been around him a lot. I'm, I observe him a lot, and that's why I say he's got a skill. So with I don't know, as his female friend, he's amazing. Looks after you, tells you the truth, good and bad. Like he is just amazing. Checks mm. on you, supports you. I don't literally amazing, right? You wouldn't even crave a boyfriend. Mm. Ten out of ten. With his male friends, yeah. <laughs> He knows them very well. Mm. And I think it's it's so admirable. Like to know your friends, to know I don't want to say what to get from them, mm. but just to know how to kind of influence them, persuade them. It's a beauty, it's a mm. skill. And it's needed in business, it's needed in family life, it's needed. So that's why I say he has a very natural skill in aligning his male friends in mm. a way, you know? That's and good. yeah, actually, uh, me and she's right. And um I think that contributed a lot to when I threw parties. Mm. So I started throwing parties. I don't know if you knew, but I started throwing parties 20... for money anyway, 20... from 2019. But I started off after... this was 2017, yeah. 2017, it was I and a couple of friends. Most of them are in Canada now. Mm. And it was like... It, it was meant to be employees staff let's go out and they're like oh how can we like throw a mad party and everyone will really have fun and it was really headache at that point because then everything in lagos is like similar then ilashe mm. wasn't ilashe mm. at that time and then we're like oh we can get a place at ilashe we did a whole one month planning every weekend come we drop a google sheet we plan even down to providing toothpicks. Mm. Wow. We threw that party. We tried to make money off it because we're stressed at, if, at how we're actually organizing this. Mm -hmm. And then we realized that, okay, we didn't make any money, obviously. But someone told me on my trip on the trip back from Ilashe, you you guys threw a mad party even down to the toothpicks. Mm. Like everything that we needed was there. Mm. And then that got me like, hmm. Yeah, like I was yeah. actually, I, I was actually excited that someone liked what I did. Mm. I've always been want someone to want to do something that people love. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, I still played around. I did, so, I did a couple of my parties. Mm. And then 2019 during, I'm sorry, 2020 during COVID, I threw my first party for mm. money. This was at 355. And I choked both upstairs and downstairs. Usually when you go to 355 for a party at that's night, yeah. it's just always upstairs. Yes, mm. that's true. London Man love that place, right. by the way. Yeah. London Man. Oh, fam, in December, 355 is all IJGBs. Really? They love that place. Then during COVID, it was just 355, um, Skyfall. That was during the lockdown period. Mm. Those were the only places that were actually happening at that point. Mm -hmm. And then I threw a party, and then upstairs, downstairs was choked. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was my first actual, like, official party. And I'm like, e? E? Like, I was tired that day because there's a lot that happens during a party. Mm. Like, yes. Even you being a people's person, you meet someone that is complaining about this, this, this. You try to resolve it. Someone else is tapping you at the back. <laughs> this, this, this. And then you are wondering how can't you see? You're trying to solve it. You're you understand? Me. And you're disturbing me. But then you have to find a way to manage it so that this person doesn't feel less of, mm. oh, I'm coming. Are you serious? Okay, let me send someone to you. Mm. You mm. hurry up. You finish. I did that upstairs and downstairs. I was tired. But then I went home knowing that, okay, you got this something. is nice. Mm. Do you understand? And then from there, I moved on to the clubs, started promoting our clubs. Mm -hmm. But thing is, for me, it became very stressful because then I started going to the... Okay, at first it was easy because it was just weekends. Mm -hmm. And I would still go to work Monday to Friday. Then when it started becoming a thing, I would now start going to the club weekdays. Mm -hmm. So I will go to the office in the morning, oh, yeah. come back at night. I'll try to come back very early so I can rest. Then like nine, I'm out again. 
And then it's not just about going out. It's about these interactions you're you interacting with, with people. Because yeah. you always need to check up on people. Mm. Like, there's a lot that has to do with throwing parties. Because, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like, people love when you check up on them. Mm. That's right. Honestly, That's I... That's biggest, biggest good I need to learn Lagos, man. Because people would love to... No, I, I said this. I said time. this a lot. Like, Nigerians have... Coming from the UK, it's the biggest difference mm. I found, actually, is that communication. They're very we communal. Don't call, we don't call nobody in Social. The in the UK, your bestest of friends, like your best friends, mm. you might not be speaking to them for three months. Yeah, we just know that we like you and then he, home me later, we'll chat. Here, like, you know, you have to call they actually want to fight you. They're like, My you worst know. customers are IGGBs. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> if someone's calling me, why are you calling me? I'm yeah, like, why I, are you IGGBs calling me? are the worst, right? <laughs> initially, my initial I, I initially I felt oh you guys are IDGBs now you're bringing pounds bringing <laughs> yeah, dollars no those guys are stingy the worst as customers <laughs> I, I know we read everything stingy those, as fuck <laughs> those niggas will come to a club <laughs> and then see okay well like I can't really say for them <laughs> no free <laughs> the realness tell us tell us <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't know why. Okay, I think I know why. Say it, babes. Also. <laughs> yeah, okay, hot, right? yeah, man. I don't even mind it because he's right. He's actually right. Okay. I mean, I don't right. mind them. Like, <laughs> they are great people. Trust me. Like, <laughs> I've met so many. No, they are, they are great people. I have so many IJGB friends, but then they are the, I won't say worse because worse feels like they, they did something bad. They are the <laughs> tightest. I'm telling stingy as fuck. And they had to complain. But I don't know why they are stingy. I don't know if the because scene is pounds, different pounds, over there. That's what I wanted to bring up. Is I, w- I actually wanted to bring this up actually to compare the scene over there. So I'm even glad that you said this. We come from a different environment. When we go out at night, we actually pay tickets at the door. Mm. We're used to paying tickets at the door and also like paying for drinks, which is strange. But in Nigeria, it's like you don't have to pay for entry fee uh, and you just pay for drinks. But pounds is not easy to earn. And yeah. people look at pounds like you guys are earning pounds, but most of them are not earning a lot. Mm. And the cost of living is high. Most of them don't have money. Mm. They don't have money like that. She's absolutely right. And then you, you've got the other facts that just like going out in in the uk is stressful like just going out because like let's say you it's not like everybody there is has this and you can just leverage on your friends because we're all trying to just hustle and figure out a way so there's few people who like hustlers and they say they hustle in other countries and and then earn their money in pounds and enjoy it that's a different from people who live there and work nine to five and enjoy it. it's different because 80% of your money goes on your living expenses. So you have yeah. 20% left from just to flex. Yeah. So that 20% you need to really consider. Ticket prices are now. It. Exactly. Yeah. Manage it. So they, they're they more looking at everything that goes out because the, the system is already robbing them yeah. already. I mean, it makes sense. Like I have, I have people, yeah. I have, I have a babe that lives in UK. So mm. like, I think I understand what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I have friends that live in UK. Yeah. So like, I think I understand. They haven't got money like mm. that. So, yeah. so, so like, it's not like, you know, like in Nigeria, like, so you'd be hosting one day, like somebody, for some reason, you just do one host one day. Million, million millions. Millions can come out of nowhere. It's not, it's not like Damn. that. It's like, it's like everything has to be planned. It's not, and that's it, it's not even taxed. Exactly. It's not, you know, oh, like, you don't get no, it's, I got a by mistake, I got a by mistake money. I love it though. You don't get no by mistake money. Yeah, you don't get that you get you have to hustle for it like 100 you actually have to 100 by the books and the like, proper 100 okay, now money. that you've said this facts i don't hate them anymore mm. no, no i never i, I never actually hate so them a lot of people yeah. that go out in nigeria is when they get that by mistake money they just go and flex facts facts right 100 so, you don't get that here so it's like yeah in nigeria it's easy to get by mistake stuff like you i i, I don't know if you're willing to say it on the podcast uh but it was the time we were chilling and talking about your party thing and you said something that i feel like is real and you said that when Yahoo boys come to your party, you you know you're good for the night. He knows he's locked off for the night already because he's hit his, his targets. I don't know if you want to like talk about that. <laughs> Shout out to all my Yahoo boys. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, no, big them up though because yeah, at because the end of the day, life is hard. It's a good point. Yeah, I just want to no, talk about that. Shout out to my yeah. Yahoo boy friends. But really, Lagos nightlife has been molded, has been shaped only to please. Yeah. Facts. Fraud stars. Facts. Really? Facts, yes. Yeah. Because it's no, the only ones and, that and will spend money. And stop for people's advocates. No, 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 no. No, no, if you can afford it, it's cool. <laughs> okay. But trust me, mm-hmm. um, there's no reason why 
you are have been to DNA before. I'm sure you've been to DNA. Yeah, yeah. yeah VI. But yeah. I'm sure you don't. It's not somewhere you want to go. It's not somewhere yes. you just wake up and say, I want to go to DNA. Facts, yeah. 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 Do you understand? But I love DNA. <laughs> so I, if anyone from DNA is going to hear this. But not, okay, so let, let's take it out of DNA. But Lagos Nightlife has made it hard for a regular Nigerian to go out after the mm. hours of 12 mm. to have fun. Mm. Like, if you call me up at 12 or 1, you, Godfrey, where can we go to? And you're just a normal 9 to 5 mm. guy. You don't make so much. And then you're asking, Godfrey, I'm, I'm, I want to party. Where, where, where should we go to? I'll tell you go to the club because that's the only place open at these times. Mm. But then when you get to the club, you see that they create this minimum spend. Mm. Oh, yes. You Before you get the table, you should spend 200k, 500k. Mm. How much do people in Nigeria make? Uh, yeah. To be honest. Yeah. That's true. Make. I feel that. Yeah. That's why I think what they do is they want people to aggregate together to come. And no, they don't. They know that. Or you just have a, be, or be a bowler. No, 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 no. just be a bowler. I don't want to be a mechanic just, anymore. I want to be a bowler. I want to be a bowler, man. From, no. from being a female in the in, in the scene, yeah, and go ahead. I was once active in the club life. Shout out to the club <laughs> life. <laughs> Shout out to all the S- niggas that are sponsored by Nights Out. S Club Seven. Okay, so <laughs> one thing that I've observed is most of the time is one or two guys that sponsor the whole group. Mm. And the whole group, including some men and females. I've I've not become that guy. And you guess what is rare? It's very rare. It's rare. Very rare in a friendship group. It's very rare. Like, I, I, okay, I have aggregator friends Mm. and I know the problems I go through with aggregator friends. friends. Yeah. But trust me, the most time, the most fun I've had is when I go, I don't even know who is paying on the Yeah, table. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know who is paying on the table. But like, oh, I try man. to look like... I'm the like, guy. I'm the guy. No, 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 I'm the guy. Like, I try to look like... I know who the guy just is. Just in case you guys want billing too, I can pay too. Yeah. Yeah. So that you guys won't treat me less. Mm. Yes. I just order a bottle, man. If I'm on the table, I don't know. I just order a bottle and pay for it straight away. Everybody knows that. Listen. You've covered we, your own. We good, yeah. Right? So yeah. I'm not trying to be here for your drinks, kind of situation. Yeah, yeah. Not, I I did that shit one time, and they told me that the bottle I ordered cannot be on this table. Uh-uh. Really? Yeah. Why? That was Azoya. I ordered the bottle of Henny VSOP, mm. and they told me so. I was at um, this guy's table. He was a very popular guy mm-hmm. with a friend. I ordered the VSOP. They told me I could not put VSOP on that table because it was not expensive. I don't know because makes... because they said um, this section is only meant for EXO champagne. champagne. What? No, but Zoya's enough. The stories I've heard of Zoya. The stories I've heard of Zoya. I was there recently. I, lo- yeah. I just looked at the menu. I swear to God, I was just seeing one M going forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see any below. This is Minimum. the reason why I Minimum. said nightlife Their is Their sticks are 18, 20. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reason why I said nightlife is coined for fraud stars. It like, is. It you is. can't see, a yeah, old boy can't come to your club and spend 200k. I'm I'm saying, for where? This guy is spent the guys is, The guys are so young. It's like I was going to say, minimum you see in like, two years, two million. The time I said that to her, mm-hmm. I threw a party where um, it was just a bunch of normal guys and much of um, fraud um, they were not fraud stars they just do things <laughs> that questionable. bring questionable, questionable money exactly. questionable money yes <laughs> I, like, I like that that's awesome <laughs> and then these guys came ah, just like two tables on their own these guys they spent 15 million I think sad thing <laughs> there's a crowd out there so let's say this section is only for these guys these guys have spent 15 million these other guys are battling with 2 million that's it that's it you know no I know I love those guys because the energy came from them no. the energy came from them but the money came from these guys it's always the broke one that makes the loudest noise no seriously I'm not it I was the one that made the loudest noise. Like, guy, you get so. I'll never feel that day. And making, making money off these things is like percentage cuts. Yeah. So, like, you might just all spending 15 million at the party. You know, the table is broke when the girls are having less fun than the guys. 
Fam, <laughs> Godfrey said to me, I can start having fun at my own party once the year in point came in. <laughs> I'll never forget that thing. Nah, like, see, this this fraudsters, they are doing a lot to our economy. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't tell people to go into fraud. Do you understand? But if I know you are into fraud, yeah, because I will not report to you. Be, yeah. I don't know anybody into fraud. I don't know where this is going to be. So <laughs> I don't know anybody that's into fraud. But if I've come across any of them, they seem like they seem like cheerful givers. Do you understand? Uh, I, but I don't know. see on the name because it's getting. Hot. I, I don't know anybody. Oh no. my day. I'm wow. very I make money for I make a honest Legit. living. I yeah, mean, I've so. heard so many conspiracy theories and rumors about the club life. I don't know if you can validate any of them. <sighs> so, I um, one of the ones I heard was that in the club, you can actually pay for the service of having bottles come to you, but they get returned back. <clears throat> No, certain man. Me onto this game I've got a lot, a lot of man. Life, everybody's living here. Yeah, and I'm just a lot of fake life. So I've had so many. I've got a few. So I don't know. Can you confirm or deny <laughs> that one? First of all. <laughs> okay. So I'll tell. I'll tell you about one experience I had. Okay. I went to a club. I don't. I don't want to mention names. So that <laughs> nobody comes after me because owners of clubs are very big people. So like, <laughs> I went to a club one day with a friend, mm -hmm. a male friend. So it's not a female friend. I went to a male friend. I didn't know the people on the table. and But my friend knew, okay, a female friend that I saw on the table knew the owners of the table. This guy's ordered a casket. Okay. Please explain what's casket because you know me that don't go club, please. <laughs> so a casket is basically like, you see like a whole, like a big... They put it in like a big um, tray, tray yeah. of like maybe 12 bottles of champagne mm. or ace of speed. Mm -hmm. They call it casket. So when you order the casket, they bring it like that. Mm. And this, this nigga was... Uh, when I got to the table, I saw that like eight of these bottles are not opened. So in my head, I'm like, oh, there's, a, there's enough bottles to go around. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And then I was, but I was being cautious. Like every every time I'm somewhere I'm not meant to be, yeah. Or like I wasn't invited by the main person. Like mm -hmm. I just behave myself. Hundred percent. If I don't have money at that point to buy a bottle, yeah. I just go to the reception. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, to the bar. to the bar. Yeah. I buy my shots. Mm -hmm. I buy like maybe five shots. Pour it into a glass. I buy my Red Bull mm -hmm. and I chill. Mm. Yeah. Do you understand? Because basically I'm just looking for people to chill with. I'm not, I don't need your call. I have so much call at home. Yeah. Yep. But then this guy came to me. He saw me. Obviously, maybe I was looking good. I was good looking at that point. <laughs> Shout out to me. <laughs> the good looking people. Yes. He saw me that day and he, he said, Oh, how far now? Why are you going to buy on this table? I was confused with that statement because mm. I can see like it's on open bottles mm. on this table. Mm. Mm. Only like two bottles or three, bot three bottles of champagne was open. Mm. I call that empty casket. <laughs> <laughs> These bottles were closed. No, it was not. It was I'm closed. telling you, no, no, like, they're not paying for it. As, as a woman, and mind you, this was my first experience. This was like 2020. Yeah, mm. I didn't know what to do. I was confused because now the guy has put pressure on me. Because mm. like the guy came to me mm. in my mind, I'm like, why did you come to me? Like, mm. see other people. Why me? <laughs> and I really, I was really having fun. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And I told this guy. Oh, okay, what can I... He said, okay, don't worry. I can even give you money <laughs> to buy a bottle mm. of Hennessy. Uh -uh. I'm like, okay. I even give him money to buy. So that means I'm just meant to pad up Part of you. with what mm. I have. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the bar to ask how much that bottle is. That bottle was very expensive. Mm. Jesus Christ. Over 100k, Crazy. I'm sure. I came back. I said, oh, Mo, I can't do that. I can't do it. Do you know what? I'll just go. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he was still trying to find a way. Then my guy tapped me. The guy came in. He tapped me. He, he, he didn't notice what was happening. Mm. Then he tapped me and he's like, you stop. Do you know what these guys, these guys are going to return these bottles exactly. now. They're yeah. just making you spend this money exactly. so, that they open. So, that they can, so that they can be able to return. So when you buy a bottle, mm -hmm. they can return some bottles yes. in mm. some places. Yeah. 
they have that liberty to return. Oh, this is what I bought instead, and mm-hmm. then they return these bottles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then in Lagos, you should know there's fake life. Oh mm. boy, it's I got I got more stories. Boy. Trust me. There's shout fake life. This episode should be called Shout Out to Lagos. No. Fake life. Shout out to questionable money. No, see, nightlife, <laughs> nightlife in Lagos is full of fake life. It wow. is, yeah. It like is. that's why you see it's clubs bad. like Escape that I used to love so much. Mm. Yeah go like go down like mm. i don't know if you went okay i'm not sure you guys went to escape mm. escape was the club of clubs at that time mm. but then why did you why did you go down mm. because of debts mm. i want to that's that was the why i said i got stories oh, my next topic so be signing money. the tab yes. signing the people tab people do that thing oh yeah i heard yes. that i heard that yeah, niggas yeah, yeah. run off on the tab Yo, i've like heard so many boys, stories the boys in town come and sign and somebody even told me the most popular artist in the country somebody told me what their tab was at zoya <laughs> I'm just not going to say on the podcast. I'll tell you guys after what the tab was. So yeah, it, that, that whole signing, because when you become familiar at the club, you don't have to pay for the time. So mm. what someone said to me was, basically, you club on the weekend, you sign your tab. Mm. They know not to call you on Monday because niggas are trying to get money on Monday. Yeah, yeah. But by Wednesday, you should expect the payment for the tab. But eventually, some people end up running off on the millions of Naira of a tab. So maybe, you know, in that situation, I don't know details about escape. Maybe that's what happened to them. They had so many people mm. that were due to pay. And but who are, in this whole like entertainment industry, or whatever it is, or no entertainment, or like clubbing stuff, right? Promoting and stuff. Who are the guys that are actually making the bank? They're actually making a profitable living. <laughs> There's no way Zoya ain't making money. I mean, them nah, are but I went to Zoya on Friday and it was empty. No, Zoya, right Zoya is empty hard. these days. Zoya right now, em- the economy is hard. No, 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 no. no. Zoya's, even I went to Zoya last year. Zoya can be empty. Zoya. It's a birthday place. It's too, that's why they were smart and they did the new place. You know, there's Gaia in there now. Mm. Zoya is huge. Okay, to fill that up is is gonna take a lot. Zoya was doing it before. They were doing it. Man. No, no, Let no, me no, no, no. Trust Let me. me tell you what I, I feel. I've been going to Zoya from the beginning. They have their nights. You haven't been to Zoya. Okay. Well, they have yeah. their nights. Zoya have their nights where they're good. Mm. It's not every night that they're. Like, what do you think? Anyway, Zoya used to be good every night. Mm. Zoya used to cause traffic on Ozumban by the way. Right? I know because I was living on that road, and I'm telling you, from when Zoya first, I'm from my experience with Zoya. Don't ask me how you know had many experiences. <laughs> <laughs> from my my few experiences in Zoya, I've always known. You know what Zoya is? There's so many clubs in Lagos, right? Mm. And they all have their it moments, their mm. it times. A certain amount of months where they're the king. Zoya is the club after the club. Mm. No one's getting to Zoya before one, two a.m. Mm. Zoya is a club you go to even almost three a.m. is when Zoya can start getting busy. It has its nights. I agree. And you. what they've done now is they've opened the smaller one. Because they know that venue to is way people. too big. So it's yeah. only lit when it's really, really, really packed. That venue is so big. How many nights can you make it really packed? That's my theory. Let me, t- let me tell you okay. from experience. Zoya is losing it. Okay. Yeah, I think they're losing but it. But I love Lu- I used to love Zoya. Oh, mm-hmm. right. But Lu- Zoya is actually losing it. Like um, I don't know when they start. They, when everything changed, but then earlier this year, mm-hmm. Zoya was the club. Yeah. Because I know when you tell me I come to Zoya, I'm stressed. Because I know when I get to the door, they're going to stress me about 100%. who, where, table. What, what, who, what's the yeah. name of the table. 100%. Sometimes when my female friends are like, oh, we want to go to Zoya, I'm stressed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because if, if, especially <laughs> if, the girls, now, if the girls want to go. Especially, hey, especially when facts. you tell me on that day. If you tell me like on Monday or mm. Tuesday, yeah. Yeah. Fine, you yeah. understand. Yeah. They're trying to find the table. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. If you <laughs> tell me on that day, <laughs> it's stressful. I've got like four zero numbers in my phone. <laughs> if you tell me on that day, it's stressful because like you might go there and they'll do. I've never been bounced from Zoya, thank God. But I know people have been bounced because mm. of their, the, the way they do their things. Mm. And the club after the club to me, it's, it's not Zoya. Okay, what's the club after the club? Don't say X. Okay, no, Kulox is Kulox just recently opened again, though. No, Kulox no. is for the Yahoo of Yahoo. <laughs> Kulox, Kulox, I forgot the, the club out of the club no, is Kulox. Kulox, yeah, Kulox, Kulox is yeah. the only club that will be open okay, to let, 7 okay, a.m. Let, no, Kulox, I was going home. I would literally. Okay. And that could be an Let's though. talk about that. Let's talk about Kulox for a Kubana second. Too, but Kulox. Kulox. Let's talk about Kulox for a if, second. If you're out by 5 a.m., you wake up by 4 a.m., 5, you want to Literally, I was, up, I, I was up at 7 a.m. in the morning and people you were coming out of Kulox. You have a lovely night, lovely morning because it's not night anymore. <laughs> but try, what, the reason I want to talk about Kulox for a second is Kulox is long standing. When I was in Lagos coming for Dirty December four, five years ago, Shout it was the nigga. It Club. Shout I don't know what Shinopela is doing. Whatever you are doing, Shinopela, if you can see this, 
you had you have an longevity. Amazing they have job. longevity though. That's one thing about them. I just don't. I don't understand it. Cause Zoya is is you what you're, what with what you're saying, and I do agree with it. Zoya is not is not something that can have longevity to fill the bigger room, mm. which is why the other room is it was a good idea but to do invest. You feel in. like, so do for, you feel like I, I'm more like Quidlogs and Cabana and Zoya? Like I I genuinely feel like. Quilox and Kubana are, are Nigerian clubs. And something about Zoya does not feel like a Nigerian yeah, club. Yeah, of course. It's, it's very openly. Let me tell not, you I went to Gaia one time. Like, the music was like nails on a chalkboard. Mm. They were playing Oyimbo Unt's music. Why the, <laughs> why the... Why the... Why the... I'm just trying to be, you know... Why the F do I want to hear <laughs> drum and bass in Nigeria on a Thursday night? What am I... Why do I want to hear that? This so it's very like, openly... Me. It's very openly not Nigerian. Not Nigerian yeah. yeah. So for me, it's not the Unt Unt music. <laughs> I love Unt Unt music. Like there's a there's a new kind of party that that um, we can just, we can just kind of vibes. Give, there is Element House currently. Like after the clubs, we, if we have time, we talk about parties too. Yeah. So what I think is the problem is for someone like me, Zoya has instilled fear into me okay. to go to that club. Is it because of the price of the drinks or the, no, the, not the price. The price exclusivity. You can't compare the price to Quillox. Mm. Quillox okay, is expensive. Zaza yeah, as well. Yeah, Zaza yeah. is quite. Is it like exclusivity? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like uh, if I'm going to Zuya, you see like, okay, people like play. I don't know if you've been to play. Oh, um, that strip... Victoria. Sorry. Oh, is that a strip club? Everybody no, keeps no. the Victoria. Is Victoria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No. I've been there. People say it's like, good, but I've been, been there I've been twice. Been there, you know. I had. I had. I had. Like maybe my top five club experiences oh, really? at Victoria. Yeah. But to get into Victoria mm. was tough. Mm. But when I went to Zoya, what I realized is they have this big register. Yeah. <laughs> they are waiting for With you. With the girls outside. Yes. <laughs> you come in and they're like, who are you? Just imagine you just woke up and you just decided to go to the club. You can't just go to Zoya. Mm. No way. I think that is what. But well, you actually, know, you know, as Lagos people, you always know somebody that's on that list. Like, you always know. What if you don't know? Mm, if no, you don't know, I think, he puts that fear. I think in men. You. I think men get treated a lot differently. If when I go it comes to, to Zoya, mm. if I go to Kilo, I don't know anybody. I just walk in. Mm. Me, the way I dress, I just walk in. But funny enough, Zoya on Friday recently, maybe because the club was a little bit empty. Going because it's yeah. empty. No questions. I didn't even say my table name. It's empty. No questions. Go go there February, mm. March. That's one. Yeah. If you like, wear suits. <laughs> mm. If you like, pull up in the limo. There's someone waiting. Except they see the limo. Yeah. If they see the limo, okay. Oh, 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 if, they, if they see that GLE, maybe they might. Mm. So well, you know, the, the cars don't get to die in trouble. Yeah, you really know. Nah, me, I, I always stop in front of Zoya. Oh my God. <laughs> I was with someone I, 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 I yesterday. I was with a theatric entrance. I was, I was with stop someone. Owning, and I would let the girls come outside first. So you Literally, see the kind of girls that's coming out. I was with someone yesterday. <laughs> The way the guy drove straight into the entrance of Sarkar, jumped out of the car, and parked the car inside. Out. He just parked, and parked the car inside. Obviously, the car was off standard, but he just, he just, he just zoomed. He rushed inside. There was like, it was full parking. He goes park inside. Yeah, that's the thing. They judge you by the they vehicle that you, you enter. Not just the vehicle, but your energy as well. Mm. Some people might have a very nice vehicle, but they might not have the energy to match it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Might look timid. That's a good so point. point. That's a good point. So even if you're driving, bro, it might be medium, bro, the energy has to be A1. So they know that, listen, it's a bad day today, but this guy is still the guy. <laughs> bro, but in terms of aesthetics, That works a lot. Yeah, it works a lot. Trust me, that I'm works telling a lot. you, it works a that, lot. That works a lot. The clubs, with the night police, that works a lot. Mm. That energy. You have to come with the energy, like, listen, irrespective, I'm still the guy. Mm. Like, treat me five star. Anyway, mm, mm, mm. it's the energy. Trust me, it works. You're dressing to matters. It matters, and the girls that you're with matters. The girls that you with matters, hundred yeah. percent. No trash, please. Oh, nah. yeah. <laughs> no trash. Yeah, don't no me. cheap. All these. Maybe that's why I've always been able to enter every club. Cheap, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're coming, you're coming, yeah. coming with the prime of the prime. But what about? <laughs> Look at this guy. Look I, don't, at this I, don't, I don't know if we're gonna take it in this direction, but you talk about these clubs. But what about the silver foxes and the rest? Like, shout out the silver fox though. But yeah. don't they give the same energy? Shout out the secret palace. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna say he loves secret palace. I wanted to bring up. He loves it. Man. I wanted to bring it up. I I've never I been. I've, I've seen the videos online. No, no, I didn't like. I've been, Secret Palace, me personally, I, I didn't. With my experience, I didn't like. You didn't it. like it. I, maybe I think it's a bit. I think it's a bit lower class. That's what I, my issue with mm. it. It was a bit. It was a. It was a bit. The, I was. I went when it was new, fresh, mm. and it was a cheaper kind of. 
environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the, so the, was building, the building looks nice. But so was the building. See, the like building is my palace. type of. Sh- it's like a castle. No, no, no it, like the building. Palace. Palace, right? The building is literally my type of white, all white, grand. It looks like where the queen, where the queen, the queen lives. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the queens down there. Uh, no, no, shout out to the I don't know what your experience is, <laughs> but. The babes at Secret Palace. I'm I I'm not I'm not a stripper kind of person. Like mm-hmm. I don't enjoy strip clubs so much. Mm-hmm. Like I just go to strip clubs to just listen to music, just the same way I go to a club. <laughs> but <laughs> I've seen babes. Sorry, like I don't want to sound condescending. No, go for I've, it, babes. I've seen them um, strippers. Okay, it's, it's I mean it's their profession, so why I, I can't talk it's about it. It's an honorable profession. They're exactly. They take care of the kids. <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I think that statement back. Really? Shout out to Silver Fox, man. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. No, but Shout I'm saying Silver Fox is uh, give it give it in that scene, you have to give it its flowers, to be honest. Silver you know? Fox, they've been there for a for a long time. But Silver Fox babes. Hmm. I'm I not feeling, I'm, I've been I never I've never danced with a stripper before. I'm not sure. Okay, I've done maybe once. But like it's not something I go for. Because it doesn't excite me. But the reason I brought I it up, fake. though, mm. the reason I brought it up was more the economy side of things. It was like, if you enter Silver Fox, yeah, they tell you it, the immediate you enter, if you don't spend the bottle of a bottle of this melt, you can't stay here. Really? Yeah, that's why I brought it up. Because like, they literally tell you mm. straight up, you know. Minimum spend is this. Yeah, yeah you, have to, you have to buy a bottle to even be inside the yeah, environment. Because they're not cheap, man. I feel, it's, I, feel for, I feel that is because they've been, there, they've been here for a long time. Yeah, Silver Fox has been here I since. They don't, don't like time wasters. Mm. They don't like time and now wasters. They've moved. Yeah, so yeah. Like, I mean, I think they've understood people that come to their club, so they know how to make sure that they make as much money mm. as that possible. They can make. Yeah, Secret yeah. Palace is, is barely two years old. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Mm. So, yeah, it's like, very new. They can't do those kind of things yet. Mm. Silver Fox has always been around close three three years four. Mm. But you see that in America, there's a huge, like, strip club culture, right? So, like, the way you would just randomly go out to a bar and rest some people would randomly go out to, like... Even to club, eat. The food is... To eat and stuff, like, chicken wings and all that Fox kind of stuff, is incredible. Right? But in Nigeria, there's, like, there's a couple of them. I don't know. Or maybe because I don't know too much. I don't know Silver Fox and the one you just said, Secret, Secret Palace. And right? Bay Rock, yeah. yeah it's Bay, Bay Rock. Rock. Okay, yeah. Horrible. That's where the sugar daddies go, right? I don't even know. <laughs> That's I what I was talking about. I don't but know. anyways, there's like a couple of these. Why is there not more? Like, is it, is it not in the culture of Nigeria to have? Uh, excuse they, me, we don't need more. <laughs> the society is already... Clubs, actually. It's there's already Askamaya, sort of... A, I've heard about that one. Is, even this is... Uh, play dick to... Why is people just laughing in the corner there, fam? It's like you've been to the... It, even me, the corner. Yeah, I there's one in the uh, Lucky Express, Express with uh, Felix or whatever it's called. Oh, Felix. That's, that's the, the one in Secret Palace. That's that Secret Palace. Yeah, that's some palace guy that was... Yeah, some, okay. some guy that was, you know... Anyways. Uh, he just he just uh, told me, like... Because I, I, I was innocently going to Felix Lounge, you know. There was a time there was curfew. Police even chased us up there. He was like, no, I don't want you going there. It's all prostitutes. Like, I had no idea. Really? But... Secrets Palace then got built next to Folix Lounge. Mm. So that area, I think, is a bit notorious for that mm. kind of uh, of thing. I think we have a very big ship club culture. Really? Even Abuja yeah. is the same thing. I think Nigeria has a very big prostitution culture, which we know very well. Mm. But I say prostitution is the currency here. So mm. I think we're very... when. We're almost comparable to Atlanta, mm. you know. What's one what, What's one good thing about Nigerian nightlife that you think that is better than anywhere else in the world? Maybe... I don't know if you have been, but you can just tell me. But if not, you can just say from what you know. What do you think Nigerian life is like? You can't top this. I mean, you can't top how they feed your ego, one. Mm. Mm. When... <laughs> close, close, close. I, mean, I love his commentary. Listen, I love it. Listen, 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 I love it. He's not wrong. <laughs> well, which one? When they feed your fake life. Fake life. Exactly. Fake life. Mm. They feed your ego. So if you are a fake person, go to go to the club. Damn. Mm. If you're a fake person, like, us girls are, us girls, that's why I just drink their champagne and go. Us just, girls are suffering, boy. Just, just, what? Go, just go to the club if you're a fake person. <sighs> mm. Like, the club will make you, it will create that fake experience for, for you. you. Like, make you feel good. Do you understand? Mm. And then you can, you just sleep and wake up and yeah, back to real. But you can, <laughs> you can work on that fake experience for like maybe a week. <laughs> after uh, a short term. After a short <laughs> term. <laughs> and then you continue. Oh, man. Then, Shout out to music too. Can we talk about your favorite club? Mm, yeah, envy. Can, like, yeah, is what envy do you, yes, he's an envy guy. I want to know more about you know. No, but cause... why is the drinks in envy not matching the aesthetics? <laughs> okay, so no, for me, I'm leaving this podcast. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I love Envy because Envy feels like family to me. Mm. Because I know the owner of Envy. Oh, mm. shout, out to, shout out to Envy then. Shout out, shout out to Good Life. <laughs> shout out to Good Life. So I know the owner of Envy and I've never had, like it's not stressful going to Envy. Oh. I hate stress. Mm. It's home to you. Basically. Do you understand? It's home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not because it's home. It's because there's no stress. Mm. Like I don't like stress. Nobody wants, to, like I can't wake up at 3 a.m. and say, oh, sorry, 2 a.m. I want to go to the club. I'm now thinking strategically how to get into this club mm. without a reservation. Mm. I can do, go to Envy for that. Mm. I mean, I'm not going there to buy a cocktail, obviously. Mm. Although IGGBs will do that. Oh, my but, days. We just catch a stray. <laughs> <laughs> a stray just hit nah. us from the left. Nah, but what you're, I understand. <laughs> no, based on what you just yeah, explained, yeah, it's real, I understand. Yeah. Yes. I understand yeah. what it's like. No, the economy is hard for them, man. That's what I understand. Yeah, like I've thrown yeah. a party where I was expecting. Based, ugh, you're making pounds now. You're making dollars. Yeah, mm, no. Wrong with some session, boy. Yeah, it's wrong. Yeah, it's Do you understand? For them, you are man. sitting on a table of bottle, so I'm just giving you that. Nigerians spend. That's yeah, why girls in London they don't. They drink Nigerian Nigerian men. Nigerian mm. Nigerian men go to London and they ball out. And, and they capture all Just the look on Instagram. Like I'll send you some of our blog pages. Mm. London men, yeah, have the worst reputation globally as black men. American girls don't want to F with them. London girls don't want to F with them. Nigerian men are the most sought out men globally because of Nigerian men spend the most money, mm. no matter where they are, questionable or non questionable. And then they say there's no money in this country. No, there's mm. huh? Lagos. I said millions, no, no, millions no. can come to you. But you know, mm-hmm. but you know the funniest thing is not. I don't think it's, it's Lagos money though. You think it's foreign money? I think it's foreign money. What? But so it still comes in as here, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's because the niggas know how to find the so foreign money. So whose money is it? At uh, the end of the day, you know, it, it, it not all comes to Lagos. You know, some of some, some guys are in other countries doing that. Some people are in Cyprus making money in Cyprus and living in Lagos. Okay. Some people are in Cyprus making money in Cyprus and spending in in London. I mean, when they spend it, who takes the money? It could be it could be Lagos because obviously a lot of people come here at party, right? That's fine. But some people, some also Nigerian brothers are in London. And are spending the money in London. I know that because of the statistics. Or oh, America, the real estate thing. industry. I mean, no, I, I mean, I have a lot of those friends. And yeah, they, they make money. FX. The, the, the stats. And they spend it, yeah, so. I mean, the stats say so. When it comes to FDI, it's mostly diaspora. When it comes to the real estate, it's over seventy percent is diaspora. Mm. So, definitely, a lot of the money that's flowing is foreign. But mm. he's right. It's not. It then becomes in the within the naira economy. So it then flows between the naira economy. Yeah, yeah. Right, but it comes from just, the yeah. end somewhere. And yeah, then it becomes our money. Mm. Yeah. But you, I mean, earlier you still want to talk about party. So quickly, what can you tell us about like the party scene outside the club? Oh, so I think I was waiting for this. <laughs> Clubs is not everything. Yeah. Parties, parties are the thing. So um, there's this, I have this friend, um, Sunari Mayowa. His name is also Mayowa. And he throws amazing parties. Okay. Do you understand? You can check him online. Mm-hmm. Sunari on deck. And what I realized from parties is um, the question didn't come in the way I wanted it to come in. Okay. But fine, I'll just talk about parties. <laughs> parties, that's the only scene that a regular Nigerian can go to mm. without having to think about spending 100K, exactly. 200K, mm. 500K. Exactly. And I mean, this guy I mentioned has done that. I mean, a bunch of other people have done that already. Mm. And what they focus on, because I've, I've thrown parties too, is the experience. Mm. So going to a party, I mean, the first time you might just want to trust it because you don't know where you're going to. Mm-hmm. And then you end up trusting the experience. So I don't know if you've, I don't know if you guys have heard of this Sunday at last year. Yeah, no. I've heard about it. I've not actually. No. It's, it's, it's organized by your arc rivals. <laughs> exactly. So the organizer oh. is the person I just mentioned now. So okay. Now okay, so that's the. Okay, I don't know, but, uh, anyway, they might say too much. <laughs> they might say too much, but we'll talk about afterwards. Yeah. So, yeah Sunday, exactly. Yeah. Sunday at last year, um, there's this no more parties on the beach. I'm just going to call a bunch mm. of parties, but then these parties, mm. what you realize is when you go there. The experience is different. I prefer... See me, yeah. I told you I always want to have mansion parties in Ikoi. That's like what my end up goal is mm. because... I like, mean, there's there's been a mansion party at um, yeah. this 
your place the place oh you my place yeah 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 yeah, yeah. they've been popping up there every time yeah, yeah. yeah. like it came up um it started like last month or yeah. two months ago mm-hmm. and it's late actually it's late, yeah yeah those guys are they're doing great exactly yeah so yeah i think they're doing great but the thing about parties is parties as i really hope parties remain parties so how does how does party work does the people pay like what, how does it work? Or do people buy drinks when they get there? What, how does Good it actually question. work? Yeah. So it, it works both ways. Mm. It depends on where you throw it. So if you throw it in a place, in a house that has um, bottle service, mm. a place like um, yeah. your place, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I don't know if I should mention it. No, here. you can't mention it. No. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Place like your place. So when you get there, obviously you pay to get in. Mm-hmm. So the pain to get in makes it easier for you to get into the venue. Mm-hmm. You can have fun if you're not trying to drink. Yeah. But if you're trying to drink, you buy from the bar. Mm, okay. Mm. But obviously so the there's bar, a bar in this, pl- this party. Exactly. No, not all the parties. It depends on how you throw your parties. Okay. Mm. It depends on how you throw your parties. Mm. You can decide to, but most people want to still make you buy from the bar. Mm. Okay. Because yeah. that way they are making more money. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, I've actually been to one Elashe Beach party. Is it a similar way of like organizing an Elashe Beach party where... You order your things and things, and somebody that need a message you that you this is your bill is amount this amount of money. Exactly. Something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Exactly. Do you mm. understand? So yeah. So people still they still want you to buy from the bar so they you can make more money. I mean, they can let you bring in a few stuff and then when your things are exhausted, mm-hmm. obviously when you are looking out, you know, when you're very, very drunk, you just want to do so much. Mm. When you start drinking, like I'll I finish this now. I want to drink. You gave us a secret. This no oh, good. Know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Boy, boy, it's true. It's I true. You, like you. when you when you finish this, when you keep drinking, you still want to keep drinking. Oh, that's yeah. that's the I think that's your selling point. Mm. That's where all my memories with Godfrey mm. are coming from. So boy. this this, this, this <laughs> so, I protected him so much on this podcast. I should be fighting him on camera right now, but we move. <laughs> So Godfrey, when, when it comes to, for me, yeah, I always ask this, when it comes to like going out nightlife in Nigeria, mm-hmm. right, from, uh, do you think like the powers that be in Nigeria should promote it more? Like let's say from a governmental side of things, do you think they should encourage it more or they should promote it? Because there's the kind of an anti, like, enjoyment. They're, pre- they're pretenders. You know what I'm saying? It's like but everybody does it. But it's they're like, pretenders because if you go to their parties, it's Sodom, the and, it's Sodom and Gomorrah. Wait, it's, <laughs> Way even more innocent to the club. <laughs> so it's like, why are we not just to get embracing as part of our culture and then let's now be more responsible with it or regular, do some uh-huh. better stuff, right? So what do you think about that? Uh-huh. So the parties I recommend, I mean, going out at night, if you ask me, I'll tell you, please go out. Exactly. I'm mm. not the person to tell you to stay in your house. Exactly. Please go out. Even if you party, pool parties, throw a party within your own kind of, yeah. you know, vicinity. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Um, shout out to Chibi. Yeah. Chibi has done amazing work when it comes to nightlife with South Social, South, and then after that, at Hard Rock. I've been, yeah. All these things I don't even know. I've been to. Um, Those are actually the parties that have made Niger- basic Nigerians enjoy yeah. nightlife. Mm. I can go there and buy Long Island one, and, two, um, nobody and I'll you. have the craziest fun mm. ever. Mm. But if you're going out at night, there are a lot of things to look out for. Yeah. There's the police. Oh. Shout out to the police. I like no, what, no, no, no God what, you God bless you. He's, <laughs> you know he's, no, no, he's, he's touching good points now, yeah. Because yeah. yes. yeah. they're just there to collect money, basically. Yo, even me, when I go no, out. No, he's touching good points When now. I go out, I don't enter Lekki Phase 1. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's a good point. Lekki 1 is just a good number. I know, I don't enter Lekki 1. Like, if I want to enter Lekki 1, I enter from Zenith. Admiralty <laughs> way. I, say, I just go, Lekki, straight to VI. Yeah, that's I why I was blessed. Lekki, Lekki yeah, one you don't, you don't branch out to the one, sides. I enter from Zenith because mm. there's no police there. Mm. If I enter from Freedom Way mm. and Admiralty, that, to exit Admiral, to exit Lekki one, those police, two places. Yeah. Mm. Is it that I bone my face? <laughs> Do you understand? Oh, I'm driving a very nice car. Mm. And when I'm approaching, I'm speeding so that mm. they will just clear up. Do you understand? <laughs> Survival. <laughs> but if they stop me. <laughs> that okay. last police encounter. Okay. I, I was like, we just really? run the so mo- just... We had one. We had one a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I was just run the mo- I know, I know me that driving. You like, 
Die muss man nicht mehr machen. Also, das ist schon nur. Ich habe gesagt, das ist schon nur. Anyways, ich weiß nicht, was das ist. Wir gehen nach Nacht. Es gibt keine Zeit, dass du gewonnen hast. Es gibt keine Zeit, dass du gewonnen hast. Es ist schwer, dass du eigentlich Club Hopping, especially if you are with. And it's expensive, agenda. yeah. It's expensive, yeah. you understand? If you are club hopping or if you are hopping from one place to another, mm -hmm. it's not good. It's, it kills the fun. Yeah, yeah. Be just make sure all your documents, everything is ready. It's True. just facts. The police is the only problem at night. Facts, facts, yeah, facts. facts. That's I learned that the hard I love that. It's very real and it's good that you said mm. that. Yeah. I've learned that a couple of times, yeah. like time after time. Where I come, where I come from, like immediately I just drive out of my estate, like this police, mm -hmm. do you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm used to them and it's not something everyone wants to experience, especially here in Nigeria, mm -hmm. because of when they see, especially someone like me, mm -hmm. they see tattoos, they see earrings, mm -hmm. they see mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. they just assume I'm mm -hmm. that person that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. I, I match the description mm -hmm. and then they just pack me for like mm -hmm. 30 minutes, they're killing my phone. So yeah, mm. so these are the things to look out for. Yeah. Surviving the police. Surviving the Lagos. <laughs> so doctor has this question, you know, that we always round up with. He says, if you were the president of Nigeria, what would you do? Ah. Uh, maybe that's why I'm the I'm not the president. <laughs> 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 maybe that's why I'm not the president. But I was the president, one I don't want you guys to look at me as a nightlife guy because I'm. No, also, I know you from yeah, tech. Yeah. I know I'm he also a guy too. He is actually a tech guy. That's why I know you from. So, um, basically, being a, being the president of this country is it's easy, man. Really? Just build infrastructure. Okay. But you know, I'm just gonna cancel it because I, this is my area, right? Okay. And you know that with infrastructure, there's um, majority of the infrastructure, the money for the infrastructure is provided from debt, right? And the debt is in foreign currency. Foreign debt, I was going to say, yeah. And Nigeria as a whole, right? And with the, all the intricacies in between, it's hard for us to pay that debt back. So to build infrastructure, you need to create an environment where there's a lot of good economy going on so that you can repay the debt. So how does, like, it's not as easy as it is to just build infrastructure. You spoke, you spoke from the angle of if everything is working properly and then we are just getting into debt. How are we getting into debt? Mm. Like look at the corruption cases that we see every time. So you think you, you think it's mainly because of corruption that's why we're in a lot of debt. I mean, like we are a corrupt country. Mm. That's there's there's no like this is very personal to me. So mm. please don't bring it up. Mm. But you brought it up. Yeah. Mm. We're a very corrupt country. Why won't we get into debt? Mm. Mm. Like we have a whole we are like top ten or top five oil producing country. Mm. Yet what? Don't say that now. This should be what this is what USA is meant to be saying. What's USA making when it comes to exporting and the rest? Another thing as well, to just to kind of uh, factor that is that there's other countries in the world who has much more debt than us. So it's it's still reasonable for us to kind of collect more debt to build infrastructure. But if you're taking debt and then it's going to people's pocket, then it doesn't make any sense. So I, I, I get we can't be the top five, our top ten. I don't know if it's top five. That's why. I, that's why I'm, Regardless, that's money why I'm gets me a lot of money. We're the, still the top a GDP African country, despite mm. the Egypt and the South Africans. Mm. We still somehow be, be the top. And yet we don't see the fruits of our labor. Mm. The roads, we were in the car today so discussing how bad the roads are. All of us, no matter where we live, in Ikoi, I was in Ikoi yesterday. Yeah, If you see the rubble to the million dollar house I was entering, I was like, whether you're in Ikoi or you're lucky, yeah, you can't dodge, you you can't can't dodge the madness. Yeah. The road was like, am I going to get kidnapped on this road? Nah. In court Ikoi, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Man, so like, you, he has, he has, does have do. a point. A he has a do. point. So yeah. in Nigeria, we have a lot of resources. Mm. Like if we properly manage, mm -hmm. we, we're going to be one of the best. hundred percent. Mm. We 100%. have agriculture. Yeah. We have uh, mineral resources. hundred percent. What don't we have? hundred percent. I agree. Lot. Talent, everything. They're we have talent. Yeah, hundred percent. Like a lot. Talent even, by the boatload. I mean, Bloomberg, boat is, load, Bloomberg is, is recruiting in Nigeria right now. Oh. For them to even do that, Ooh. for companies to do that, trust me, there's talent here. Yeah. Do you understand? We have the population. We have the people resource. Mm. Mm. So what don't we have? Why are we in debt? Mm. That's poor management. Mm. It's a crazy situation. No, we agree with you, man. 
Yeah. But no, nah, good chat. Good He's chat. coming on like over. Well, maybe you put me in, you put me in bar. We we'll create a very big club. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was like, I wanna, yeah, let's, let's say we're all, we're all in this together. Let's just party, man. God no, boy. we will. We will. You guys I'll will see. A very big club, man. We've got lots like, of enjoyment to do. Don't worry. Beams at the entrance. Man. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad to have you on. You're coming again. Don't worry. <laughs> I think well, they, I, I think they need to be clubs to feel feel the women ego because I think a lot of the clubs that male centralized. No, we go so, like, through. The way we talked about your your place that you went to in the Leicester Square. Yeah. <laughs> need to be more of that kind of stuff because there's some baller let's, ladies now coming and spending people's money. Let's, and, um, I saw I saw a sugar mummy yesterday where I was at yesterday, boy. She was she was looking for somebody to spend money. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, please. Where did you go to? <laughs> <laughs> She nice. was she was looking for someone to spend money on yesterday, boy. Where did you Wait. go to? <laughs> I'll tell you off camera, baby. <laughs> okay.